At United Way of Lake and Sumter Counties, we help in three main areas, education, income, and health. Under education, we have our Master Teacher Program. Asking open-ended questions is extremely important in the VPK classroom. We need to promote a higher level of thinking. In the Dramatic Play Station, we want to promote communication. How do we do this? Well, first, we want to ask open-ended questions. What would you like to pretend today? Are you going to need help from a friend? Will you be a community helper? What kind of community helper? If you are pretending to shop in the grocery store, what will you buy? Who will you give your money to? And who will put the items on the shelf to buy? In the Block Center, we have a variety of materials that we use to promote communication. For instance, when we are building with our blocks, we ask the children, what are you building? We want them to tell us more. If we say that statement, tell me more, it encourages them to elaborate on what they are doing. Who is helping you build the structure? If a friend is helping them build the structure, we want them to use their name. We want them to tell us what their role is in that partnership of building the structure. People in the community. Who is this? What does he or she do in our community? We want to know if the children really understand what community helpers are and what their actual roles are in the community. When we have our vehicles, we want to know who is driving the truck or car and what can you build for the vehicles. Maybe this will spark something and they will build a garage or a house with a outdoor garage attached. You never know what an open-ended question may spark in young children. Number one, we want to explore. Tell me about what you are doing. What would happen if? Number two, stream. Science, technology, reading, engineering, art, and mathematics. Why is this an important part of the process? What could you do different? Three, sensory. How can you use these materials? What else could this be used for? Number four, nature walk. Why is it important to observe your surroundings? What are we looking for today? And number five, inquiry. What did you notice and what do you think about? And then finish that statement. When we visit the music center, we want to ask the children, how do you feel when you hear this kind of music? What is your favorite musical instrument and why? What is your favorite way to dance? In the literacy area, we have time to read to children in small groups. This is a small group story time. What story would you like to read today? What would you do if you were in this story? What would you have done differently? Do you think the story would have turned out differently? How does this story relate to the real world? You can make the Writing Center fun in three simple steps. First, have the students write a letter or a word of their choice. Second, take a picture of their writing. Third, ask open-ended questions such as, what word did you write? What letter does this word start with? What sound is at the beginning of this word? How many letters are in your word? And what sound does this letter make? In the Manipulative Center, you want to encourage communication. Ask the children the following questions. How does this work? How do these pieces fit together? Which item is the shortest or longest? How are these items alike? How are they different? In the Art Center, there are many key ingredients. 
but there is nothing more important than communication. Communication could be in the form of an open-ended question or a conversation starter. For instance, tell me about what you are creating. Open-ended question. How does this type of art make you feel? What else could you do with these materials? Conversation starter, tell me about your picture. It is very important that you listen to the children about their picture. Make sure that you put a dictation on their picture of exactly what they tell you. That way, when they go home, the parents will understand what they were trying to make and what they were thinking as they were making their beautiful piece of art. In the listening station, students get to choose a story that they would like to hear. What story did you choose? Tell me about the story. Have you ever felt like one of the characters in the story? How does this story make you feel? You always want to ask the children the following question. Do you want to give this story a thumbs up or a thumbs down? Understanding what your students like will help you to choose the stories that you put inside your listening station. In the computer station, you want to give the children an opportunity to play their favorite learning game. Then ask the children the question, what is your favorite learning game and why? The Cozy Corner is a very important center in your classroom. This is where you learn about how your students are feeling. Ask this question, how are you feeling? How can we solve this problem next time? Tell me more. Do you need to talk? And are you okay?